Oh no! No! Oh crap! Sweet mercy! No, no, I'm dead, I'm dead. No, that, didn't, that didn't last long. <laughs> crap! No! No! Fuck. Okay, you know what? You know what? I need, I need a break. Okay, everyone. I need a break. I need, I need something happy. I need some ice cream. I need... Video games are this way. Video games are this way. Okay. There's gotta be something happy to play here. Um, let's see. Tempting, but I don't want to think too hard. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, Battlefield for you. Shooter. Gross. Um, really close, but I'll repeat it. Same problem. Uh, Kirby. Not today, not today. Normally I would. Um, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Is this? Crash- Oh, it's the new, new, it's the new Crash Bandicoot. Gross. Put that over there. Um, what about... Pikmin? I love Pikmin. Let's think of all the good times I had with Pikmin. All, like, the places we went to, the enemies we fought, the armies we made, the- Nope, 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 nope. I just- I- I need something happy and nonsensical where you can't be mad playing it. Animal Crossing! Animal Crossing is like one of the happiest games in the world, but where did I put... Huh? How long have you been in there? Three days. Playing Animal Crossing? Yep. My entire town is already covered in fruit trees. How's that going for you? Just... peachy. Look, Pedro, I need something happy and fun to play to help get over Dark Souls. Why don't you play a weird PlayStation game? What is it called? Calamari Dominion or something. You mean... Katamari Damacy? Actually, that sounds perfect! Yeah. Go play that, and leave me alone. Alright, thanks for joining us. Welcome to the best ideas ever. I'm gonna play right now! Think I should do something about that? Yes, that's right! Katamari Damacy! Katamari Damaki? Damacy Katamari Katadamakasai? I'm going to call it Katamari Damacy. If I'm wrong, Please forgive me. Anyway, Katamari Damacy released in 2004 by Namco on the PlayStation 2. Katamari Damacy is one of those odd games that many people seem to know and love, but seems like many other gamers have no idea about what it is. So today's mission is simple. Is Katamari Damacy worth going back to or playing at all? Let's find out, starting with the story. This is a king. Of what, you ask? Of all cosmos. Yes, mortals, this is the king of the universe and everything in it. The ultimate authority of this world. Gaze boy, bask in his presence and listen in awe as he speaks to us now. That's right, the king of all cosmos sounds like a DJ scratching a record. And it is glorious. Anyway, one day he was partying, and when the king parties, he brings the house down. And when I say brings the house down, I mean he destroyed every star in the universe. Yeah. I imagine they all explode Dark Duty style. Anyways, you may have guessed that peoples don't appreciate that, so the king decides to fix this. That's where you come in! You're the prince, standing at 5 centimeters, which for you people who use the metric system, is 5 Pikmin. And since you're the prince and the king is your dad, that means he made you, and you know, that means you kinda owe him, and he's calling him deaths. Dang. I mean, that's one way to put it, I guess. So, how do we do that? With a Katamari. It's a ball you roll into stuff. And then once you have enough objects stuck to it, it can be used to make a star. How? I don't know. Why does it stick to the ground to large objects for you? I don't know. How does it even work at all? I don't know. Stop, Stop asking questions. Question. That really is, like, the whole story. So let's talk about one of the most striking elements of this game, the controls. The game is played using the two analog sticks on your PlayStation controller. After that point, it's a similar concept to a tank. No, not, not, not that I would know. To turn left, you press up on the left side, like only turning one tread. Turn them in opposite ways, turn quicker, move more forward, put to either side, and so on. You can also have moments to switch which side of the catamaran you're on for quick change in directions. Or you can do a charge that is fast but hard to control. Or look around the environment to- Whoop! Huh. Well, I'm scared. The controls at first were a bit tricky, and even after playing for a while, I found myself every now and then messing up. But they are in no way bad, they're very elegant and work incredibly well at the game. It's just a different way of using the controls than we are normally used to. I really did like them though. Now for the gameplay. As before, it's very simple. Find small, roll into it, get bigger, hurry up. Oh, and there's a time limit, and I love how they say it. I can only believe in you for 10 minutes? That describes a lot of things in life. And if you beat the time limit, you can still play however much longer you have left to make a bigger star. If you achieve the goal fast enough, you get a shooting star. 
Now something I really love about this game is first the graphics and the environment around you. Playing this game today, many people might criticize it for its blocky graphics, but I personally really enjoyed it. It has a charm to the game, it fits the theme, and still looks really good. I mean, some things look weird, like the punk's hair, which looks like Ruby Rod, and the animals are just funny looking, but it just adds the humor and quirkiness about Katamari Damacy. Another thing to be mentioned is the things you pick up. There are tons of items, which are displayed every time you pick them up on the screen. But also, just the variety of items just astounding to me. Some of the weirder things are actually real. I mean, sometimes things are placed like they could be in real life, while other times it's obviously arranged. Why are there pickaxes here? Every object you collect is something that is real, but that's not even the best part. As you collect things, you obviously get bigger, but the shape of your katamari changes. For example, going over a line of bushes adds an oblong shape to the katamari, and thus makes rolling the katamari harder as it is harder to control or could get stuck on things. Which is an issue since if something runs into you or you get stuck, objects fall off the Katamari. However, depending on what you grab, it also can be an advantage for getting over obstacles. For example, grabbing street lights and using those to raise your entire Katamari. And what's probably one of my favorite traits about this game is how well the game keeps track of all the items in the world around you. But only the sense of how everything looks and where things are placed, which sometimes is ridiculous, but I still can't get over it. WHO PUT PROPANE TANKS HERE?! Well, so what things are stuck to the Katamari? When things get stuck to you, they don't just go away. The game does an awesome job tracking where the item touched the catamaran and where it is at all times. And when something breaks off, it also does an awesome job tracking where it fall off and where it lands. Now something that did bum me out a little bit, but made perfect sense, was how when you got bigger, things would disappear. Piles of objects that were obvious when you were small will go away once you get big enough. Now that makes perfect sense for sake of not overloading the machine, and to be honest, it took me a long time to realize it, so they did a really good job to make it so you don't even notice. I'm just a whiner since really while I think it would add another level of strategy to the game, it would actually be irritating in England since to have such an ability would most likely require places where you would actually need to use that ability. And the more I think about trying to like make yourself smaller by taking yourself apart, it just doesn't sound fun and it sounds incredibly painful. So just ignore that thought. It, yes, it's a thought, it's an idea, but it's not a good one. I'm glad it's not in the game, it's just... Something that struck me as interesting, but no, stop listening to me, it wouldn't work, moving on! They may have noticed, but there are a lot of animals in all of those. So you may be wondering, you sick monster, can you roll up the animals? And the answer is yes! And trust me, when there's a dog that's been attacking you for the longest time and you get to roll them up, it feels so good. Sometimes though, you aren't quite big enough to get them stuck immediately, and you have to stun them and then roll them up, which makes things a little tricky. As you get bigger though, you'll notice that humans or animals might attack you or they might run. If they run, that means you can collect them. And trust me, if you felt evil and all-powerful when you grabbed that irritating dog, the feeling of grabbing humans is just so satisfying, it hurts. And eventually you can get big enough to grab buildings and even land masses. Look at this footage. It feels awesome causing this much destruction and sheer awesomeness everywhere you go. And you aren't even hated or feared by humanity. They love you for doing this. Except for the ones that I'm grabbing to literally turn into a giant continuous explosion in the sky. Those ones are a little scared and don't want to be near me. But hey, I mean, people keep saying they want to be a star, right? I can't describe the feeling of just getting bigger, starting to pick up animals, and people, and trees, and cars, and buildings, and just getting bigger and bigger and becoming unstoppable as things that used to torment you, you just roll up now. It made you feel like an evil overlord in an ultimate powerhouse. And this is a ridiculous game, like, those thoughts don't even belong here. I love it! Now, let's talk about the level. The majority of them are very simple. Just get the Katamari as big as you can and as quick as you can. Now, that sounds easy, but there actually is a bit of strategy trying to find the quickest way to increase in size. Which sometimes is very simple, but other times can be very tricky in trying to find stuff. There is always a struggle between trying to collect items you know you could collect, and trying to collect the biggest items you can find. If you failed, you're agreeing with this scary scene of the king, saying that you should have chose one of your cousins? And OH MY GOODNESS! What- what was that? With the lightning and the- Wait. Really? Thanks. Something else found in a ton of levels is a royal present, which apparently the king either forgets a lot or throws on earth for no reason. You stinking jerk who might think is the best and I'll continue to surf forever despite the fact that you constantly do this to me! Basically there's a box in you need to grab it and keep it in the Katamari. And as a reward you get an accessory for the prince. The few I got were pretty cool, but there was actually a ton that I missed because I was either in the wrong area or I got so big it disappeared. Not only is there a presence, but in many levels you can find your cousins, which are collected the same way. To be honest though, I never noticed them, but was just constantly told that I found more cousins. WHO ARE YOU PEOPLE?! There are other levels though that have a lot more difficult missions and are based on actual constellations. Like only focusing on certain items or item groups, or even some oddities like trying to gain exact size without looking. However, the most difficult in my opinion is trying to collect the biggest of an item, like bears or cows. 
However, the king only wants one, and he is so impatient that the moment you touch anything bear cow related, he instantly takes you home and rates you based only on that one item size. Which was really hard, since those things were knocking you everywhere. And if you could just wait till I get the biggest one like you want, we'd all be good, but no! It's not like they're right over there and I could just get them, you just give me some time, dang it! Something I should also mention is the game's sense of humor. It's hilarious and quirky, and I love it. For example, the things that the king of all cosmos says. Stop it! You're distracting me! Stop it! I wanna go there! What? Or how items and people are placed or what they are doing. A lot of the things that made this game as awesome as it was. Especially the weirder objects to pick up. From things like rainbows, kung fu fighters, clouds, whirlpools, to things like wids, heroes, Godzilla, and even Nessie. Yes, Nessie. If you guys are ever wondering what happened to the Loch Ness Monster, don't worry. He's right here. And now is a part of this particular star. Right now. In space. Because of me. Not to mention the different sounds everything makes when you collect them or run into them just hit me laughing the whole time. And the music. I love the music. It was really good, very, never got old, and fit the mood so well. Even if at times it was really weird and seemed out of place, it actually fit really well. Something else worthy to note is the hub world. In the hub world, you can look at your outfits, the sky, see a list of all the things you've collected based on place, size, class, or seeing if you got all the items in each of the areas. Also, you can take pictures, if I ever found a camera. Also, before I mention cousins, well, they're basically skins that can be used in the multiplayer mode, which is a mushroom. Somehow. Basically, it's just two people racing to see who can get the bigger Katamari, which seems really fun, except I don't have anyone to play with. Also, you can stick to the other person's Katamari while playing, which I imagine if two people were actually running around doing this would be hilarious. Oh, and the reason there's this game? Because the king forgot who the prince was, and clearly the prince is not that green one with the guitar like he's been seeing me with the whole time, but instead any of these other ones that look nothing like me, except that one right there. That one's close to looking like me, and I'll forgive you. Also, there's this one big thing we need to make. The moon! Which is the same as before, but now you need to get really big. 300 meters big. I got 800 meters though, so trust me, the tide is going to be very high. Also, it's going to look like Termina. <laughs> then you get to listen to some charming credits as you roll up entire countries. Ha! Take that, Japan. I even collected America. Couldn't get Russia though. Curse you, motherland! Also, depending on how you did on levels, you can unlock a game mode that removed the time loop so you could get as big as you want, any level. Which was pretty fun, I mean, once you collect everything, that was, like, it, but it was still pretty fun. In the end, though, is Katamari Domsey worth playing? My now says it's 100% worth your time. Sure, it may appear to be just ridiculously comical and stupid, but the gameplay is fun and enjoyable, the feeling of success when you're ripping buildings out of the ground is incredible. Everything just fits together so perfectly. And to be honest, there are very few things I can even really knock this game on. Also, Kenway Darmacy is actually really challenging for those out there trying to get perfect scores. I didn't get many, but I know how to pray our time trying to do everything perfectly. And to be honest, Katamari Domacy is actually one of the motivating forces behind my decision to buy a PS3, which actually came while I was editing this video. And to be honest, I'm really excited about playing like Katamari Forever now and other exclusives. I mean, just listen to this premise, I love this. The King of All Cosmos bumped his head and lost all his memory. The Prince and his cousins created Robo King to replace the King, but went out of control and destroyed all the stars in the cosmos. Now you must clean up the mess made by Robo King and bring back the King's memory by rolling up everything in the cosmos. Man, that just sounds great. I actually, I want to play this right now. This is certainly one of the scariest and trippiest intros to a video game I've ever seen. But rest assured, unlike other great men, I do not shee away from such horrors. I will take it on at first, or sword and controller first. Defeat this terror known as Katamari forever. I'm on Zay! Hey 
Hey guys, thanks for watching my very silly review. I definitely plan on doing more since I know I've been slacking on that with Dark Souls 2 and other projects going on. Speaking of, if you want to watch me epically fail at Dark Souls 2, you can click here to be sent to a playlist on the first episode. Or click here to visit my channel and see the other game reviews or games I've played. Yeah, I, I don't feel like so. I'm, I'm just gonna keep playing Katamari Damacy and roll stuff up and... Yeah, that'll be good, that'll be good. Oh, oh wait, hey, hey, it's time to go, time to go, see you later!